Gastrin Gastrin is a peptide hormone that stimulates secretion of gastric acid by the parietal cells of the stomach. Parietal cells are the epithelial cells that secrete hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor. Gastrin is secreted by G-cells in the antrum of the stomach. G-cells are flask-shaped with a broad base containing many gastrin granules and a narrow apex that reaches the mucosal surface. The precursor for gastrin, preprogastrin, is processed into fragments of various sizes. Three main fragments contain 34, 17, and 14 amino acid residues. These forms are also known as G34, G17, and G14 gastrins, respectively. The 17 amino acid form of gastrin, which is called G17 or little gastrin, is the form of gastrin secreted in response to a meal. A 34 amino acid form of gastrin, which is called G34 or big gastrin, is secreted during the interdigestive period between meals. Thus, during the interdigestive period, most of the serum gastrin is in the G34 form, which is secreted at low basal levels. Secretion of gastrin Gastrin is secreted by the G-cells of the antrum, of the stomach, in response to stimuli associated with ingestion of a meal, such as distension of the stomach, the products of proteins, and gastrin-related peptide, which is released by the nerves of the gastric mucosa during vagal stimulation. So what inhibits gastrin secretion? In addition to these positive stimuli, gastrin secretion is inhibited by a low pH of the gastric contents and by somatostatin. Acid in the antrum inhibits gastrin secretion, partly by a direct action on G-cells and partly by release of somatostatin, a relatively potent inhibitor of gastrin secretion. The effect of acid is the basis of a negative feedback loop regulating gastrin secretion. Increased secretion of the gastrin increases acid secretion, but the acid then feeds back to inhibit further gastrin secretion. Zollinger-Ellison syndrome is caused by gastrinoma. Gastrinoma is a tumor derived from G-cells in the duodenum, pancreas, or less commonly stomach, that secretes the peptide hormone gastrin. The signs and symptoms of Zollinger-Ellison syndrome all are attributable to high circulating levels of gastrin. So what are the consequences of having high levels of gastrin in the blood? One of the effects of gastrin is that it provides gastric acid secretion. So excess gastrin causes excess gastric acid production. The increased hydrogen secretion results in acidification of the intestinal lumen, which inactivates pancreatic lipase an enzyme necessary for fat digestion. As a result, dietary fats are not adequately digested or absorbed, and fat is excreted in the stool. This situation is called steatoria. Steatoria is the excretion of abnormal quantities of fat with the feces owing to reduced absorption of fat by the intestine. Another feature of gastrin hormone is that it is a trophic hormone. What does trophic hormone mean? Trophic hormone is a hormone that has a growth effect, hyperplasia or hypertrophy, on the tissue it is stimulating. Therefore, another effect of Zollinger-Ellison syndrome is hypertrophy of the gastric mucosa. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.